Actually, it's a bit wobbly, health and safety in that. Another blowy day after a storm, Dennis. And uh, we decided on a quick jaunt. I always want to come back here. I walked here when we were doing the North Downs Way. And it's St Andrew's Church in Gatton Park. And it's a real mishmash of styles. Most of it is 13th century, with I think a few Norman foundations. But it's such a mishmash of styles. It was sort of restored in the 19th century, as a lot of these churches were. But it looks really sort of unusual on the landscape. <laughs> Very much it's open. No, of course not. And the church is next to the big manor house, which is now the school, the Royal Alexandra and Albert School in Gatton Park. Blue doors. What, Victorian? It seems a bit of an odd kind of style of door for a, a church. This part, this car there, that all looks pretty modern or 19th century. It's like such a mishmash of styles. Once again, I've said this many times before, we're right by the North Downs Way, ancient prehistoric route, the North Downs. Settlements along that ridgeway have been settled for over thousands of years, as is any ancient route. But the North Downs Way and the South Downs Way, or the original routes, came in when we were landlocked with Europe. It was our entry into uh, what became England. Yeah, there's lots of settlements around here. And we're high up, of course. It's fantastic, this old lamp. <laughs> it's a bit wobbly, health and safety in that. Somebody skimming in the background, probably a groundsman. Always when you're trying to film this, someone's doing something loud, but hey. Interestingly, Gatton, Gatton Park, beautiful, beautiful park, great walking trails around here, actually was a lost village, an old village um, that came into being around the 1300s. It's only of two uh, vanished villages in England. One's here at Gatton, and the other village I think is Albury. I think at Albury. So yeah, some um, villages wiped out, just gone. You know, not through plague or anything like that, just moved out and that was it. Yeah, very interesting. My friend Matthew Holdsworth knows a lot more about this, so he might be able to comment as well. I love this little arch phone, this little door here. And it doesn't really serve any purpose, probably just a folly, because this goes into the back garden. As you can probably see, if I just walk around there. Oh. Gatton Park was mentioned in Doomsday of 1086 as Gatone, G-A-T-T-O-N-E, Gatone. It's been here like most of these places a long, long time. I find the church almost a little bit of an oddity. It just doesn't look like a normal church that you'd expect. Um, that might be a quite an ignorant comment. What I mean by that is it's just this mishmash of styles. We had Lord Monson, he bought it in 1830 and refitted it in 1834 with lots of collections of uh, uh, different bits and pieces to make it his own, really. These tombs here could be quite old and it's a shame I can't read the inscriptions. It's all sort of faded away, which is a shame. Well, there you have it. Just a quick jaunt around St Andrews in Gatton Park. I wanted to show you this church because I think it's quite uh, unusual. Um, I'll say my friend Matthew knows a lot more about this than I do. 
who actually just messaged me, hello Matthew, uh, to see if I actually did get out filming today because obviously the weather's been a bit hit and miss the last uh, few days with um, Storm Dennis. Where did they get these names from? Dennis. Um, but yeah, it's been great. Hope you've enjoyed it. Lovely little big old tree here. And um, if you like the video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. If you've been here and know a little bit more information about it, it'd be great. Actually, it'd be lovely to go inside. So if anyone's watching this and we can actually get inside and do a, a vlog from, uh, I think a lot of people would be very interested to see that, uh, myself included. So thanks very much, guys. And uh, this is Andrews in Gatton Park. We'll see you next time. Take care.